everybody, Jim Barrett from RGL Futures, Monday, 22nd of February. I know it's in bonds lower all day, of course, but not as much as you might guess, uh, given the huge recovery in stocks uh, that continued again with gap hires uh, this morning in all the indexes. Uh, they ripped stocks that has ripped up in Asian and European hours, uh, pushed to uh, push the previous high in the case of the S&P through 1940. We appear to be holding uh, and trading above 1940 most of the day here. All right. Uh, uh, possible reasons. Uh, I mean, Barron's uh, asks on their cover, what recession? I mean, possible reasons for the stock rally, what recession? However, again, uh, You'd expect notes and bonds to be lower uh, under those circumstances. I mean, the yields uh, in the 30 year are back up to 262, but way lower than the 3, uh, 300 we started the year. 10 year, we're at 176. Uh, it's just a little hard to justify those yields at the same time, uh, this, uh, the stock recovery. Uh, Okay, why might they be holding up? Well, there's a Wall Street analyst. There are there is a, a faction of Wall Street analysts that expect the tenure to trade as low as one percent sometime before the end of the year. I mean, uh, why? Because uh, of uh, sovereign debt around the world, namely Japanese and European debt uh, yielding uh, negative negative rates. So obviously, a 1.7 in change and a 2.62 and our 10 and 30 respectively look attractive regardless of what what the stock market is doing. I mean, I mean what, one of the reasons uh, uh, Barron's, I guess, gave for the 3% uh, guess on growth is, uh, is uh, normally when we got a recession, you got unemployment falls at least three months uh, uh, in a row. We haven't had that in 2013. Uh, so if you would have given people this information about where the unemployment number was going to be, what the GDP expectations were, Nobody would guess yields this low. However, again, it, it's all to do with uh, Europe and Japan having negative rates. Okay, what could happen late this week to uh, change things or kick things uh, uh, in, into gear, uh, either higher or lower? We got a we had a weak PMI this morning, uh, a little bit of a boost to the bonds. It didn't bother the stocks. Consumer confidence tomorrow will be a key number. Uh, PMI services flash on Wednesday. Durable goods probably the biggest number of the week. Thursday along with jobless claims. And then uh, personal income and outlays Friday with another consumer sentiment read and a GDP read. Uh, market probably goes into these numbers or is going into these numbers basically right in the middle of the last week's <coughs> trading range. The bonds are trading around 166 and a half. Last, year's, uh, last week's spike high was uh, 170 or so. The low on the big correction was down to 164. We're in the middle. I mean, we're just uh, ready to go with, with, with the news flow. I can be reached at 800 500 2461 to discuss any futures market. Please give me a ring. Thank you. If futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.